everybody, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. How is everyone doing today? Today is Sunday the 4th of August, so this is Vlogmas Day 4. Um, but this video is not going to be about the cat. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> because I have something different to talk about today. I'm sure that, I mean, I know that Laura and, uh, from, I don't, uh, Mad Mamie's Crochet and Farming and Jan and Alaskan Crafter have done the cat's meow thing. And the vlogist is a challenge every day. And you show the blanket. I'm not showing the blanket today. <laughs> I have a different I have a different videos for you. So I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you enjoy my test project. Uh, so Anita from YOH Crochet, stands for Yarn Overhook. Um, she is an amigurumi designer and she designed Melly the Lemur. Isn't it the cutest? I totally love Melly the Lemur. And I made one and I followed her pattern pretty darn close. Um, and here's mine. Mine is orange. And this was leftover from another amigurumi that I had made. And I think it's varsity orange, but it might be bright orange. Big twist. It's definitely a big twist. Uh, look at the eyes. Aren't they? I love the eye patches and uh, just too cute. I don't think I did really anything differently other than I, I kind of tacked the legs closer on the inside. Um, in here so that they weren't all the way spread like that. Uh, I don't know why I did that, but I did. Um, and then I built it and built it upside down. I started to put the fake, I put the belly patch on the head. When I needed designs of uh, an amigurumi, she, she tends to have big heads and little bodies. That's like part of her uh, trademark for her amis is that their bodies are smaller than their heads. And I started to put it together this way and I had the belly patch on his face. Well, the eyes are so big on the lemur that he would not have fit. And so you overlap your eye patches. Um, and now in her pattern, she does say to put on the, the safety eyes and go through the gray, the white, and then into the head. And I, that's too much for me. I know I have such a hard time with the safety eyes, when you go through, they, they fall apart and you can't refix it. So, um, I went through, and Joe from Joe's Web, this was her tip as well, go through just the first two and then I put the eyeballs on. Um, and then I saw this uh, as a hack on TikTok where they take the plastic eye and they put the back on it and then they melt the tip that's sticking out of the back and push that lighter up against that melted tip and flatten it out. Now the back can't come off. And so, I mean, it'd be really, really hard to get it off then. And so I did that and it helped to flatten it uh, even so that the eyes aren't like bulging. Um, and I don't think they would have bulged anyway. I don't think Joe did that to her. She didn't flatten the backs and her eyes don't bulge. Uh, and something that I did different, normally when I make an amigurumi, I, I um, sew the face together and then I put the arms on and the legs and I always end up sideways. I did the body parts on before I put the face on and then I knew that my face would be looking more straight. So the face is straight, but this arm is a little off to the side. <laughs> The face is straight to the legs and this arm and well uh kind of maybe not i don't know is it <laughs> uh and then the tail and she gives you the option to put pipe cleaners in the tail i did not um but i did tack it up because i wanted it to be like up on his shoulder and so i did tack it up a little bit um just to make it look like that and i used blanket yarn for this just black and white bernat blanket blanket yarn or maybe big twist i don't know uh actually i do know um the white was bernat blanket 
and the black was big twist <laughs> so a little of both they do have all the colors here i forgot this is the gray it is a bernat gray and oh i can tell you which orange this is <laughs> this is what i do with my scraps <laughs> uh maybe shoot i don't want it to come off stay on stay on please stay on i love this orange and it's on sale right now so i want to throw some in my cart um Oh, the color isn't showing on that side. It's up here. Uh, this is bright orange. Orange bright. Which I really like. I like their varsity orange as well. And I was putting some in my cart. And I'm like, well, I don't remember which one this was. And this is all I have left of this color. And it's a very nice, fun color. So, I want to get more of it. Ah. Um because hooker versus hooker you know uh anyway that's a whole different whole different story so anyway that was orange bright and then the white is uh, just some pound of love so i did want to tell you originally i thought i will make this in blanket yarn and i picked out pink blanket yarn and i had the black and the white um and I, I think I would have just done this in black because I don't have gray. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was. I don't know what I was going to do there. I, but anyway, I started with. This is the eye patch. This is the original eye patch that I started with. What? Like it's as big as my face. So can you imagine the size of this lemur had I continued with blanket yarn? I mean, he would have been ginormous. Like, one eye is as big as my whole face. He probably would not have fit in my house. And I definitely would have had to buy more yarn. So I went with this. <laughs> so we went to choice number two. So isn't it adorable? He's really cute. Um, and I have to tell you, I have been making, uh, testing, I think, all of Anita's patterns. I don't think I've missed any of them since she started. Unless she had something before uh, the B. Uh, if there was one before the B, I don't remember. And I have them in the other room, so I'm sorry for that. Uh, and some of them are upstairs. But and the JoJo B. Uh, there was the Yeti, which is, I love the Yeti. That was my favorite. Um, anyway, she has said that we can give away a pattern. So if you would like the lemur pattern, and I will link uh, YOH in the description box below. She also did a, a video on uh, a square roundup for making, uh, am or not amigurumis, but uh, squares for like maybe Boggy Creek blankets or whatever you want squares for. Um, and it's a great, great video. So watch that, but I will link her channel uh, and her Etsy shop is linked in her channel. She is offering a free pattern to our subscribers, all the testers. So if you would like a pattern, um, just put in the comments, I want a lemur <laughs> because aren't they cute? Uh, and she made this in, in, um, we had a Zoom sister named Melly. And Melly sadly passed away. She was very young. Uh, and she uh, had a terrible illness. And it uh, finally got the best of her. So the lemur is named after Melly. In remembrance of her. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, so, if you want a Melly lemur, just say, I, that's it. Say, not a lemur, just say, I want a Melly. I want a Melly. And uh, in a week... I will pick a name and you'll win a lemur pattern from, free from Anita. Um, and then I will give away another one. I'll give away a second that can be any of her patterns. So I'll pick two winners. One for sure gets the lemur and one can have any pattern that they choose of Anita's and I will pay for it. Uh, she has some really cute patterns. Like I said, I think the Yeti is my favorite. 
uh, because it's so unique. Not, and the lemur, also really, really a fantastic uh, pattern. And she's done something different with the neck when she crochets them. Uh, and when you get to that in the pattern, you're like, what do I got to do that for? Do it. Um, because it's a really cool trick. And the head is not nearly as wobbly. And I don't stuff mine real, real squishy. I mean, I like them to be squishy, not hard. So if I stuffed it a little tighter, um, his head probably wouldn't wobble at all. But he, it wobbles a little. But um, the new trick is awesome. So, it, you know, learn something there. I think every designer should do it that way when they have a head. I've seen even designers say put like a um, a hair roller in the neck to keep it from wobbling or uh, a paper towel, toilet paper roll. Don't need to. because I mean, it wobbles a little. I mean, it's fabric, but um, it's pretty sturdy. It's not falling over. And as I said, I... I thought I crocheted kind of tight, but I don't crochet as tight as I thought I did. And I don't stuff them real tight because I don't want big holes. And I want them to be squishy. So, anyway, uh, I'll leave. I want a Melly if you would like the pattern. And I will pull winners for two patterns. One, The first one will be for Melly specifically. The second one, you can have your choice of whatever pattern you want from Anita at y.o.h crochet. She will be linked in the description box below. Uh, say hi. Oh, never mind. Say bye. It's time to go. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.